Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome on board. Let's learn to fly the traffic pattern with the big jets. But first things first, requirement. We need VFR conditions. VFR is visual flight rules, uh, which says 5 km visibility, cloud setting is 3000 feet or more, and stuff like that. So basically, they want you to have the visual uh, cue of the airfield at all times. And uh, what's the importance of traffic pattern? Well, it helps an airplane enter and exit an airport in an organized manner, keeping other traffic visually safe, and also helps with uh, a lot of hand flying practice of an aircraft well. So let's uh, get to the drawing board for a while and start it off. Here we are. Traffic patterns are basically rectangular race course pattern left or right around the runway based on uh, the location of the city or highest obstacle. So we take off from a given runway and on the runway heading, that first climb leg is called the upwind leg. Then we take a 90 degree turn, in this case uh, to the left, uh, and we're still climbing, that's called the crosswind leg. Then we turn next 90 degree perpendicular, uh, which is the longest one uh, that runs parallel to the runway, that's called the downwind leg. Then another 90 degree turn, base leg, before turning towards the final leg for landing. And that was the first part. Now there are 360 degrees of directions, out of which the four most common ones is North 360, South 180, East and West 090 and 270 respectively. And as you know that the runway numberings are the nearest tens of magnetic directions. So you should be able to get your directions by either adding or subtracting 90 degrees to your headings. And if you're using one of these four common heading runways, then it's the easiest to get your directions. Now for example, let's take Mumbai runway 09. If you try a left hand pattern, the directions will be the easiest to calculate since it's simple East West North South direction. Say for example 090 you take off uh, on the easterly direction, you take a left turn towards north 360 as the next heading. Then you turn left uh, towards west heading 270, turn left towards south 180, back to the finals runway heading 090. But if the runway orientation changes, it becomes a little difficult to calculate. Some people use a simpler way, it's like they like to add 100 and then subtract 10 instead of trying to add 90 basically. It's a little tricky. So, uh, but I like to do it the other way. What I do is basically I imagine four numbers 0, 1, 2 and 3 and I go this way for right hand pattern and this way for left hand pattern. Now let's take an example of Mumbai runway 14. Runway 14 is basically heading 140. Heading 140 you write 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. The next number is 2. Now 2 plus what gives you 5? 2 plus 3 gives you 5 so the next heading is 230. What's the next number? 3. 3 plus what is 5? 3 plus 2 is 5. So 3, 2, 0 is your next heading. And then finally last is 0. You get back to 0. 0 plus what is 5? 0 plus 5 is 5. So 0, 5, 0 becomes the heading. So these are the headings. 140, 230, 320 and 050. Let's take Dubai runway 30 for example. Runway 30 means heading 300. So let's start it off. Okay, 30. 3, 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. Next number. 2. 2 plus what is 3? 2 plus 1 is 3. So 2, 1, 0 becomes the heading. Next is 1. 1 plus what is 3? 1 plus 2 is 3. So 1, 2, 0. And last, 0 plus what is 3? 0 plus 3 is 3. So your respective headings becomes 3, 0, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, and 0, 3, 0. That was just a little trick up the sleeve I thought I should share. Now, enough talk. Let's go fly now. Okay, we're on runway 1 for Mumbai and we'll be doing a right hand pattern since there's, there's a Trombe hill on the left side about 1600 feet. So we'll do a full manual flight, no flight directors or autopilot. I've put in flaps 5 uh, and uh, departure pretty lightweight, uh, about 15% of fuel. And uh, no route setup, uh, just a direct to Bravo 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 VOR for reference. We'll keep the range on the ND less than 5 since we'll try to keep ourselves within that distance. So uh, let's take off then. Before take off checklist, flaps are 5. Uh, take off and stop lane before take off checklist complete. Uh, let's roll. N1 40%. Engine stable. Set takeoff thrust. Takeoff thrust set. Eighty knots. V one. Rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. One three five. Uh, that's the runway heading. Let's start our turn to crosswind leg two three zero. Okay, approaching thousand feet.
approaching 2000 feet leveling off maintaining flaps 5 and uh, flap 5 speed All right, after takeoff checklist, landing gear up, flaps holding at five, after takeoff checklist complete. Let's turn downwind, 320 degrees. We got the visual of the runway. Okay, approaching first abeam. Let's do the descent and approach procedures in checklist. FMC approach speed. Let's choose flaps 30. Auto brake set to 3. All right, second abeam. Start time 30 seconds and call 40 seconds. Okay, descent checklist. Descent checklist. Recall checked. Notes, no notes. Auto brake 3. Landing data, we have 145 minimums, no minimums, it's a visual runway. Approach checklist, all the bidders, QNH 1013, reading 2000 feet, approach checklist complete. Thirty seconds up, gear down, flaps twenty, speed twenty, speed break to be armed. Forty seconds. Let's turn base heading zero five zero. Let's start a slow descent as well. K okay, runway inside, flaps 30, and we approach. Landing checklist, speed brake armed, landing gear down, flap study, landing clearance obtained, landing checklist complete. Okay, 500 feet checked, stabilized.
Okay, touchdown, speed breaks up, reverse is normal. Sixteen knots and reverse. And that's how it's done. So give it a try, it's fun to be fully connected with the airplane with minimum automation. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao.